In this video, I'm going to show you how I download my Canva templates so that they print perfectly. There's just a few little settings that you need to make sure you've selected and checked in order to get the optimum print results. Now, I created this gorgeous Canva template. It's completely free. I will pop a link uh, down below if you haven't already received a copy of this, if you're not on my mailing list. And this is just my way of solving the problem of... <sighs> struggling to nail my planner sections and messing up my dividers with labels and being like oh this section isn't working for me so i've decided to go with chapters and i created this canva template with uh, i thought i'd put a few extras in there so we've got this pretty uh, line art initial that you can edit for your own initial we've then got a bordered line art pattern over the top of this cream crocodile effect and this is going in my motor um, Lux in the cream croc, hence why I've got the cream croc going on in the background of these templates. There's also this really pretty contents page. As I said, I've gone for chapters. So in here, you can list out your chapters. And then we've got um, these pages, which I've actually used as my dividers. And I've just stuck a little bit of um, vellum that I've printed out to create my own tabs on these dividers. We've got chapter one, two, three, four. Again, all of this is editable because it's a Canva template. And then I've also included a a blank page which just has the cream croc lever effect image in the background so that I can print those on the back of my pages so that they're not completely blank. No one wants to see a blank white page when they turn over something that's really beautiful. So let's get into it. When you, if you're using my template, when you click on the link to you to uh, view the template, you'll see this screen and you'll have a button down below saying use template. You click on that and it will bring you into Canva and it will create a copy of this template. Now, for some reason, it's decided to set this up as if it's a video. I did have it set up as a document. I don't know why I can't get rid of it, but it doesn't matter because when you click on share in the top right hand corner, you will be given the options of how you want to share this document. You want to go straight to the download button. When you come into the download section, do not have file type set to MP4 video, change it to PDF print. And it has to be print because this is gonna give you the best results for printing the document. It's gonna just make the resolution higher, which just means the line art will look smoother and the colors will be truer. If you go for standard, then you're gonna save um, space on your computer because it will reduce the file size, but it will also reduce the quality of the picture. And we don't want that. So select, oh, select PDF print. And then you also, because these are full bleed um, templates, meaning that the image goes all the way to the edge. If you want to have it so that the, there isn't a white border around the edges, you need to make sure you select crop marks and bleed. And you're gonna to want to flatten the PDF. This will just help to save a little bit more space. And it will also make sure that it prints properly, like you won't get any random things happening with some of the line art or the fonts. So always best to flatten it if you can. And then the final setting is the color profile setting. You just wanna come here and make sure that you've selected CMYK. This is best for professional printing because as anyone who uses a printer, like any book standard home printer, it doesn't have to be anything amazing, you will know that the ink cartridges come as cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, CMYK. The black is okay for some reason. Some printers have more ink cartridges. Mine also has a gray. You get some printers that have an orange and um, I think like a pink color or a, red, a true red color, but most printers will have cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And that's why you want to set that so that it's actually gonna create a true representation of the colors that you see on screen, turning them into the ink colors. Screens are RGB because that's the color system that um, is used in light in screens. Um, it, this video is not long enough for me to explain RGB versus CMYK, but just trust me, select CMYK and you will get 
chef's kiss results when you print and then you just want to go ahead and download so i'm not going to do that now i'm just going to give you another quick scroll through of the elements now these were created using canva pro elements so i've got a canva pro uh, line art flower here see it's free for canva pro but you can go ahead and buy this if you have got the free version of canva pro or you could just scroll through the elements type into the search line out art flowers and replace that one the initial is i'm hoping this is a free font free font let's just double check yep so the the font that I've used is a free font, so you can just go ahead and use that as is. The image, let's just double check that, is a Canva Pro image. So this crocodile, cream crocodile skin background is a Canva Pro element as well as the lined border. So there are a few elements that you're going to need to buy. Well, by my counting, there are three Canva Pro elements. Everything else should be, yeah, free fonts free to use so you can switch out things or you could just spend i think it's like three probably going to be like three dollars last time i when i had canva the free version and there were elements that i wanted i only paid like a dollar an element and then you know that's not really a lot is it or you could just spend the time searching for a replacement and then everything else is editable so you can sorry the the latency on the scroll is really bad when i'm doing a screen share so you can completely edit the boop, 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 contents page with your own items you can edit the chapter sections with your own numbers so yeah it's all really accessible except for the canva pro elements which again as i said aren't going to cost the earth so that's it i will do a quick flip of my planner in a moment to show you how they've looked once they're printed out i should did i i did explain the crop marks so when you print it with the crop marks this is important because it's going to mean your um the picture is going to bleed as it were off the edge of the page so that you can trim it down and not have any white border i'm sure i said that already but i just want to make it really clear that you're never going to be able to cut it exactly on the edge of the paper or um, if you try printing it direct onto a5 my printer prints onto a5 but it won't do borderless printing onto a5 so i have to print onto a4 with crop marks and bleed i hope you guys are tracking with me i'm talking really fast like i do this as a job as a graphic designer so for me it's just like yeah you just do but if you're a novice or you've never printed things professionally before you might be like the bleed or what now what did she say but the beauty of videos is you can rewind and replay and you can even slow it down if i am going at 100 miles an hour so let's dive into the flip and i'll see you over there so here we are in the overhead view this is my planner it's a moterm cream croc it's the moterm lux and this is the a5 size so inside how i decided to set it up was to print that first template page on to vellum that's why in the template the background is blank or white so that i can print it onto vellum and create this gorgeous layering effect by placing it over the top of the uh, patterned border which does have the cream crock in the background so it just creates this really beautiful effect that works so well with the moterm uh, i think they call this color white but it is more like cream or beige um with this color from moterm but it could work with any cream croc colored planner i could also see this working quite well with the moterm taupe and possibly the gray as well now as i said in the uh, screencast i did supply a blank page so that you can print your uh, the back of your pages with the croc effect so that they are not completely blank the contents page this is where i can show you the problem with not setting your document to have crop and bleed now i was trying to be stingy and save some of my paper i had a piece of a5 to hand and i needed to reprint my contents page because i'd made a mistake and the problem with that is that my printer doesn't print 
A5 with bleed. I should have printed this onto A4 because then the flowers would have bled off the edge. Um, well, the flowers would have had enough room to bleed off the edge and then I would have had crop marks to crop it down to the A5 size. Yes, you're going to have a little bit of paper wastage in that uh, normally I would chop two A4 I would chop a piece of A4 in half and that would give me my A5. But if you're uh, using US letter size paper, you're going to have waste anyway because you, can't, you couldn't chop um, US letter in half and expect it to be A5. It would just be half letter size. I hope that you're tracking with me here. So because I printed it directly onto A5 paper, that's how I've ended up with that border. The This page... And the other, the contents pages, I actually printed them straight onto A4 and trimmed them down to size. So I don't have this issue with the funky white border. Again, I hope that this makes sense. Like I said, as a graphic designer who's done this for like 20 years, I can just be blah, 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 and it's all like fresh and clear in my mind. And um, but again, if you've got any questions, just comment below or if you're on my email list, just reply to my email and, you know, I'll try and help as best I can over the interwebs. Now, the contents page, no, the chapter pages, what I did was created these little tabs at the top so that these could actually be my divider pages. And this is just um, some vellum that I printed my chapter names onto. And then I used a corner rounder to round the corners just to give it a neater look. And it's literally just stuck down with a, a little bit of glue tape. So yeah that is how the finished product looks i hope you guys enjoy creating whatever you end up creating with this template if you post it on instagram tag me it's keshinomi spelled k-e-s-h-i-n-o-m-i but i will pop a link below to my instagram come over and say hi and i will catch you in the next video here bye for now planner fam